folks, uh, last year on Natural Skiers, we test drive the Agent 2 from Faction uh, in order to find the best ski to do the best of both worlds, i.e. climbing with skins. And a lot of skis are good at that. But some of those skis who are good at that are not good at going down the hill. And the Agent 2, which was 96 under the foot, was super sweet even on the grooves. And this year, uh, I have in my hands the Agent 1. That would make it a better climbing ski than the Agent 2, because when it's narrower and you don't have powder to go up, to go through, in a ski that is more narrow underneath is gentle on the knees. If you have too much of a wide ski and you're climbing with an angle, it does put a lot of pressure on your knees. So I was super happy to try the Agent 1 and actually for Tremblant, climbing and skiing, I would probably pick an Agent 1 over the Agent 2 just for the ease and the weight on the way up. But nowhere on the way down you feel that you're missing something if you have a ski that is super light, made of poplar wood and a thin sheet of carbon for the dampness, the absorptions of vibration, and a super light but still yet a good side cut so that if you want to carve it and turn it around moguls and go in the glades, because often in Tremblant, if you go up Yuanson Peak, you're not going to come down in the glades. You're going to, in the, in the slopes, you're going to come down in the glades where it's never groomed, where it's disorganized, where you have obstacles that are unmarked. So you need to still be quick to move side to side. Same thing if you go, let's say, from the top of Yuanson Peak all the way to the edge and go left, skiers left of the chairlift you do need to have still a quick ski to go through those blades. So, uh, Faction uh, was a good surprise to me with the Dancer 2 that we tried this year. Last year, I really liked the Agent 2. Uh, if I was, let's say, more G-Peak than Tremblant, I would probably pick the Agent 2. Stowe, I would also pick the Agent 2 Killington. If I climb Killington, I would go for the Agent 1. So it's for you to decide what type of environment you mostly go touring. But this is not a ski just for touring. It's a blast to ski. It's almost the same shape. Actually, it's probably the same mold as the Dancer, but without the metal sheet. So it is super light, playful, big smile in your face on the way down and you can enjoy as well your climb up. And when this mountain will close on April 15, there's a full month of enjoyment. One or two or three climb a day, picnic at the top with friends and family. This is pure joy for the life of a skier. <laughs>